Uh, let's go to the Western Cape, where at least seven people have died in Cape Town this week in taxi-related violence. Transport MEC in the Western Cape, Daylin Mitchell, has threatened to shut down taxi ranks completely if the violence continues. Mitchell is meeting with taxi bosses today. My colleague, ENCA reporter Monique Motlock, covering that story for us this hour. Monique, good afternoon. You're joining us now here on the Midday View. What do we know now about this ongoing taxi war? of violence that's been playing itself out recently in, in Cape Town with the seven people now who've died, sadly. What we know is that several taxi ranks aren't um, operational at the moment. We visited two of them this morning, Nyanga Taxi Rank as well as Belleville Taxi Rank. I'm here in Brackenfell where the uh, Transport Minister Fikile Mbalula as well as Transport MEC Dalen Mitchell, they are actually about to step out to brief the media. Um, a little earlier when we spoke to commuters in Nyanga, they were telling us they hope that this meeting um, provides lasting solutions between taxi associations. We know that last week, Odetta and Carter signed a peace agreement, but um, with the spate of shootings that we saw this week, with at least 22 people being shot, nine of them being killed, that, uh, those peace agreements has certainly come to naught. I see that the officials are coming out any moment now, but before they do, I just want you to take a listen to what some of those commuters told us this morning. It's bad because there's no transport for people to go to work. And then, firstly, people had to walk all the way to the entrance of Pocha Square. And then now, uh, they are fearing from the Nyanga subs because they feel more safer to be here. But the terminus is closed down. It's shut down. It's completely shut down. So there are no taxis. There are, even the small taxis are not operating. And then hence, we as the community, we are appealing to the, those who are in the authority, the minister, uh, Mbalula, to mediate and ensure that there is an everlasting uh, solution in the taxi industry. Because um, without the transport, the people weren't able to go to work, and that will affect the economy of our country. Yo, it's very difficult. We walk a long ways to get a taxi, and then we so scared because we don't know what's happened when and when. For three days, I don't have a medication because I take medication at, at a clinic at town. So it's, it's very difficult. Everything is very difficult. And everybody every day is getting late at work. Okay, Monique, we had the commuters there really hoping for a, a long-term solution. I wonder what we'll hear from the transport minister, the Figile Mbalula. Yes, and um, to take us now to uh, the minister, we have him right here just to uh, speak to the media, to tell us how the, the meeting went. Minister, um, if you can just uh, briefly tell us, or the, the <laughs> transport MEC, Dylan Mitchell, um, who... I'm live at the moment, Minister. If we can just first hear from you how the meeting went inside with those taxi associations. Well, uh, the meeting went uh, very well. We have started uh, uh, an important journey. We have not finished anything. We are going to work here throughout the night, burning the oil. Uh, we've got to, uh, to bring this uh, matter of the conflict between Qatar and Cordetta to a reasonable standstill and uh, get the business of the taxi industry going. Uh, as the minister, I'm joining the MEC here uh, in the province. Uh, they've been doing a magnificent job uh, in talking to the parties, but at the same time to get things going. So we are not starting a new process. We came here and we went to the township in Begweni. Uh, but besides even that, the conflict didn't stop. In the main, the conflict is about routes and the illegal operators in the system. And at the same time, uh, uh, as government, we are coming in to regulate. And that's what is important. But uh, uh, we've got to bring this conflict to a halt. And uh, now the MEC, I think, uh, can talk to the detail. Uh, of the discussion between Carter and Cordata. And uh, I hope that by the time we finish tonight and late, 
And uh, even this weekend, we'll be going down to the ground, uh, to the Qatar members and to Codeta members, talking to them about the agreement we we'll have reached here. Uh, so the guns must uh, stop, the killing must stop, the operations must go on. If they don't, we will then evoke uh, what uh, is required by the law uh, for us, Section 91, to ensure that uh, uh, we close the rank and uh, everything come to a standstill. But that on its own is a last resort, and uh, which we think we will not get there, and uh, we will be in a position to resolve this. This has been going on for some time. And uh, we, we need to intervene because there's bloodshed and mm. people are dying. So I will give the MEC to deal with the content and other issues as the provincial government that they've been dealing with. All right. Thank you very much, Minister. I think let me on the offset say that we take this very, very seriously. And this is a high priority for the Western Cape government. So what, what you've seen today is an additional step to the negotiations and discussions with the minibus taxi industry. Um, so I'm very grateful to have um, the National Minister joining me in to ensure that we bring some sort of calm and stability to the industry, but also that we protect lives and livelihoods and that we protect the commuter and the legal operator. So what we've, what we've agreed to inside is that, um, that the peace needs to be restored. We, we have an obligation as leaders in this industry to make sure that our commuters remain our priority and that we keep our commuters safe and that innocent bystanders can no longer pay the price of internal conflicts because of, of, of certain routes. So what we have asked for is that we will reconvene at 3 o'clock um, as the Western Cape government. We will ensure that we bring in the, ex, um, the independent mediator that has always been available to the minibus taxi industry, but that we also then come with, with um, the routes that's currently the, the burn of contention, but also, like the minister said, that we will be on the ground to take this message back to the, the industry leaders with the, with the leadership of Kata and Kodeta and Santaco that is, that is trying to bring some sort of uh, stability. But we will no longer stand back and allow innocent bystanders to pay the price of internal conflict between associations. So I'm very grateful for the, for the assistance and the enforcement by the, by the National Minister to ensure that, um, as, as, as I indicated, that Section 91 has been published, it's been gazetted. Members have now an opportunity and, and stakeholders to make input into that, but that's the last resort. But we, we, we are not willing and I think the minister, minister would agree with me, to compromise on the lives of innocent people because we can't find common ground. MEC, Thank you having said that, uh, the SANDF is rolling into the province. Is it to assist in this taxi violence that we see? I think um, um, the, the SANDF's um, deployment is, is, is to, to address violence. So I'm not going to highlight it as just taxi violence, but I think it's an intergovernmental approach to ensure that we don't have the same um, sort of uh, looting and spiraling out of control like we have in the rest of the country, but that we ultimately ensure that the safety of the citizens of this province are kept safe at all times. Just, um, just in uh, terms I think of from Newsroom Africa, Kellen, do you want to go first? Um, yeah, just in terms of your powers that you speak about, um, we've had at least nine killings this week. At what point do you invoke your powers in closing routes um, in the province? Do you wait until it's 10? Do you wait until it's 20? At what point do you draw the line? Well, my, my view always is one life lost is one too many. So there is no s sort of standard on when to close routes and ranks. The, the powers vested in me as per Section 91 gives me the when there's unrest and instability and the safety of commuters and the community is at stake. That we, that we enforce that. And, and um, I mean, since the 1st of July, we've seen something like 22 murders, taxi-related murders. There's 29 at attempted murders. I mean, it, it's, it's completely spiraling out of control. And for that reason, I published my intention uh, last week Friday. The public comment closes today. 
and then I will um, apply my mind based on the submissions received. Uh, my so I've got two questions. Uh, number one, what is the mood of the meeting? What uh, are you sensing from the taxi industry? Um, and uh, for commuters that are fearing for their lives, what can you tell them in as far as the root uh, cause for the dispute? And also, just perhaps if you could just literally highlight practically what then the Western Cape the Transport Department is doing uh, to try and quell the situation in partnership with the national government. Well, I think, um, and I don't want to speak on behalf of the associations, and I think they can speak for themselves. But I think what we all agree upon is that the violence needs to stop. I think the fact that we are, are here is that we all, that, that everyone is, is willing to come to the table and that we, nego that, that we negotiate to find a common ground to make sure that the violence in the industry stops. Um, as the Western Cape government, obviously this is not the first engagement. Um, this is the, this, that what, what we see today is, an, is that as transpired um, since the Nyanga incident, um, where, where innocent lives were lost. So we've, we've obviously um, started the, the mediation process, um, and we've, we've always said that the Department of Transport in this province will be working with the minibus taxi industry to bring some sort of stability. And what we've done is we said we're going to get an independent mediator, we will be an, an, on standby, um, we will provide the necessary support to ensure that everyone comes around the table so that we address them. And again, today I made the commitment, and that's why we're reconvening at 3 o'clock, because the department, again, will provide that additional support so that we can get find a lasting solution to what, what, what is currently plaguing the people of the Western Cape. What I'm trying to understand, MEC, is that um, not that you have to speak on behalf of the taxi industry, but what I'm trying to uh, gauge from you is whether they are willing to then you know, be part of the solution. Uh, and what is the sense that you're getting from the taxi industry in as far as the root cause for this uh, violence? No, like, like I said, I think the fact that we're reconvening at 3 o'clock is an indication that all stakeholders are willing to work together to find a lasting solution. And as, as, as the, the minister pointed out, the B97 Palm Bakwini route is the issue. So we are, we, we are addressing that, that, that issue as we speak. But on that point, there's an arbitration process set for the end of this month. And that process will unfold and it will be binding. So during this arbitration process, there might be recommendations made that government needs to, to implement. There will be recommendations made on, on, on what, what the various associations should, should and should not do. And, and that will be binding on all, including government. And if these recommendations made that as the Western Cape government we need to implement and enforce, I will ensure that we do that. Colleen, can you please hear from Tanae? We'll take two questions from the ground and then we'll hear from the National Minister as well, please. Um, two and questions. Also, sorry, two <laughs> questions. One to MEC. Belleville taxi rank is one of the biggest taxi ranks in the city. Not including the time the taxi rank economy that goes around with it. Have you spoken to people there working in that part and just please give them a sense of what went through your mind when you decided to try and close one of those ranks. Minister, taxi industry is in crisis at the moment in Cape Town. We don't have trains that are going to certain areas like Nanga and Kalicha. There's no my city going there as well. What are your discussions with other public transport sectors as well? Okay, the MEC there for transport in the Western Cape, Dalen uh, Mitchell, accompanied by the Minister of Transport, Figilem Balula, just briefing the media after what seems to have been the first round of meeting, of talks this morning with the taxi industry and how to tackle the violence that's been ongoing that has killed at least seven people in and around Cape Town and affecting commuter transport. And uh, Mr. Mitchell saying the meetings will continue this afternoon at 3 o'clock.